shall leave this place. Oh wait. Fuck. I could have done that technique. If you you can delay the wave. Oh man, I don't think I can I have enough time to do it anymore, but you can like minion block uh and slow down your minions like this. But you have to do it a lot earlier. <laughs> the video block is so ridiculous, man. I don't think it it's going to make too much of a difference unless I started right away. But for minion manipulation, it's pretty nice to do that if you do it correctly because uh, you like slow down your minion wave if you do it from the very start, and your wave will always get pushed to your tower. Ugh. Oops, Vlad auto attacks. It's going to take me a little bit to get used to it. Every game I play Vlad. You gotta adjust yourself to the slow auto attacks. Ugh. God, man. Uh, I should have waited until the cannon hit it again. I don't think I need to take pool at level 3 since I'm getting shoved in my tower. Oh, really? I didn't get that one? Oh, man. We're 3 CS behind. I should have queued the ones that uh, my minions were hitting. I think I could have gotten both if I just reversed the order that I was casting. Oh, that hit me? Oh. Interesting. Uh, Real Fat Cat, four months in a row. Welcome back, Real Fat Cat. I appreciate the resubscribe, my friend. Oh, man. hard for me to give shout outs and look at my side screen when I'm lasting into the tower. You have to be very precise for last sitting early game on Vlad if you're getting shoved under the tower. gonna have to lose that minion since he hit six. We have enough to get a revolver. I want to go back really soon. Alright, I'm gonna TP back top with revolver.
I should have waited to get a pink word. I want to keep it closer to my side if I can. Okay, it looks like he stayed. Hitting. All right, I misclicked. <laughs> Fuck. That would have been really great if I got my Q on him. Fuck, man. If I got my uh, the amplified Q on him instead of accidentally clicking the minion, like he was lightning rushing, so he moved on top of the minion, and I wasn't using target minions only, which or sorry, target champions only, which is Tilda. If you hold Tilda plus an ability, you'll target champions only. Should have probably done that. We would have been able to push him out of lane or dive him under the tower a lot faster, but we stayed. Fuck, man. About straight will the ancients, dang. I'm like close to my Woda, but he's able to buy it straight up. I might sell my health potion and just try to buy Woda and match his Woda. Man, I played uh, the early game kind of bad. I'm, I'm like, uh, I feel like I'm still just, just out of it today. Like, if I had, when I ulted the cannon, if I had queued him, like, the difference would have been night and day, instead of accidentally hitting the minion. Um, and if I had just saved my ults for like when that was happening, it would have been a lot better, you know. His lightning rushes aren't cooldown. Yeah, there's a teleport. I don't have very much movement speed right now. Dealing with his lightning rush, like I can't really keep up with it. Maybe I should have offensively pooled, but I wasn't really in range to do it at the start. And once he started the lightning rush, I wasn't in range to do it.
right, sweet. Go back. Um, I'm kind of feeling the sork boots. Kind of feeling the sork boots this game. I find that sork boots will end up being a lot more effective because the more damage you deal as Vlad, the more sustain you get. So that combination with the amplified damage from your ultimate, the magic pen you're getting from sork boots, I think I like sork boots over CDR boots. Just you end up sustaining more. Yeah, having more CDR is pretty decent, but. I think the difference is a lot better for Sork Boots on Vlad. I don't know, it, it changed a little bit when Sork Boots got a, in, the price got increased, but if I can afford it, I'll get Sork Boots. This is my realm. Once he used his lightning rush offensively like that, I knew I could ghost and catch and kill him. He got a really nice stun on me though. That'll probably be his teleport. I'm gonna move a little bit back. If he does teleport, I want to... Oh, our brand backed off. No! I thought our brand was uh, coming behind their tower. Which vessel shall I empty next? Darn, that was a bad teleport then. That's a that's a bad top lane play. Like we teleported, we got nothing from it, and like we lost our tower. <laughs> it's about as bad as we can get. Actually, we might not lose our tower. God, man, I should have just stayed top. I had no idea like we would miss our skill shots and stuff in that play, though. I mean, it's still ideal that I teleported down because it was an all-in attempt and force to disengage, but now I don't have teleport to counter the cannon's play here. Hopefully they don't get as much out of it as I fear. Oh man. Yeah, his, his teleport was a lot stronger, I guess. Double kill, Leona? If we had, like, communication, I would have been telling them that... You know, probably chill the pill. Since uh, I just teleported bottom, their kin is going to have teleport, but... Blackish M, I appreciate the subscribe, my friend. Get some Falcon teams for Blackish M. Thanks for supporting the channel, man. Plus one towards our subscriber goal. I'm gonna back up. Their whole team is probably resetting. Gonna miss a cannon maybe? Nah, it's still gonna push out towards me. Nice. Cannon's got a Negatron Cloak now. the wave. No, my cannon. My precious cannon. I want to keep my Tides of Blood stacks up, but 
I'm losing some health at this point. Let's go for Rylice. Eventually that will be uh, Spectral's Cow, that mole magic. help defending this their whole team is coming top no not my tower sucks that we didn't have a tank jungler this game I mean Quinn jungles fine but not really when we have double squishy AP laners we need a tank initiator jungle that's why we're having a lot of trouble right now is because we're a little bit behind. But uh, initiation's an issue. That was that was nice though. We do have a Leona for the initiation, but she doesn't always have the ability to initiate against Janna. That. Baron's in 25. We could probably get it. I have no idea what they're doing. They should have just gone for Baron instead of a tier 2 tower. We had time. Nice. <laughs> that Brandle. Nice, nice, nice. Nice. Oh my god. I'm gonna get spooked here. Spooky ghost. Man, why can't we just do Baron? <laughs> tier 2 towers are great and all, man, but when 3, 4 of them are dead, Baron's got 25 to spawn, just wait for it. I'll tell you why. In a solo queue, it's kinda troll. <laughs> Catch this, catch this, catch this, literally, catch her, catch her! Yes! Thank you.
Alright. In a yellow queue. <laughs> Gangplank ult exhaust. I that <laughs> my favorite part is when someone gets caught out, they like try to justify it by helping your team by calling out what was used. I mean it's great, but it's good to know what is available for your opponents and what's not. But uh sometimes But yeah, sometimes uh, when people are calling out what's available, they're like, don't worry, it was worth because they used all their ultimates on me. It's like, it's almost never worth. <laughs> if you get if you die because you're getting caught out, it's like detrimental to your team. Lucian and Janna could gangbang me up here, and L Vlad pushes so slowly on towers, it's better for me to probably go back. gonna buy seekers for now. I want to get this stacked up. I'm not gonna get hourglass uh, until like way late game, but having a little bit of armor, it's gonna go a long way against gangplank and a fed Lucian. He's got his ult. It's AP-ish Janna, so she's got a lot of ability power. She either had her shield come back up in combination with her ult, or she pulled some goddamn voodoo magic to stay alive there. I think Rylize is the second best item in the game for Vladimir besides Will of the Ancients. It's Will of the Ancients and Rylize. It's the best way to play Vlad. If you're not playing Rylize Vlad, then you're not playing Vladimir. You're playing some really shitty knockoff version. It's if you don't play Riley's Vlad, I'm sorry. Like it's it's gonna be terrible. The ability to chain slow them and stay alongside them is so important. God damn. Okay, this is bad. <laughs> Just lost her 80 carry. We might lose brand. God damn it, Leona! <laughs> 
That's funny. I mean, I'm fine with her taking the kills. It's just hilarious that uh, between the damage that I have and Brands, like, Leona's the one actually finishing them. It's just really funny. Vlad and Brand do so much damage together, it's ridiculous. I want some more CDR, but at the same time, Hourglass would be such a good buy here. My ult was going to slow him at the end, so I wanted to... Even though I couldn't catch him normally, the ult would slow him and I might be able to catch up, but Nidalee just came back. Jesus. Slows. damage. 